It's story time. Today, we're going to talk about small business success stories. Well, a one specific success story that has a really important moral at the end of it. When I first started out in business, I was noticing that there was two different schools of thought, two different groups of entrepreneurs that were engaging around me. On the one hand, I went to an Ivy League school, so there was a lot of suit and tie business people, the kind of people who will crunch the numbers, do an analysis first, bring on a whole team just to think about doing something and before any action was actually taken. And then on the other hand, I was introduced to a lot of people who were kind of skirting the law. It was kind of like entrepreneurial wild, wild west. These people defined the 50 shades of entrepreneurial gray zones. And I had friends in both categories. I will admit one side was definitely more fun than the other. When I left school, I moved to the big city and I met a whole new community of entrepreneurs who were passion driven. They were inspired. They were visionary. They truly saw a better world and were taking actions to actually build that world, to bring that world about. I thought that was really cool. I resonated with them. I started hanging out with them. When I moved back to the city, I had this awesome new perspective being able to see three distinctly different mindsets towards business and how those trajectories each played out. See, my friends who were the suit and tie business people, they went to these big high paying corporate jobs. And from the outside, you're like, wow, they're making so much money. That looks awesome. But deep inside, they were burnt out. A lot of them referred to themselves as having no more soul, having no more fun. All of their vacations were spent being absolutely exhausted. That doesn't sound like very fun. So let's go to the other extreme. Let's look at uh, my friends who kind of skirted the law. They were a little bit more uh, fun in the way that they approached business. Well, a lot of them had a really tough time. They took big risks and sometimes, most of the time actually, um, those risks didn't always pay out. Uh, so they ended up kind of burning out real fast as well in a different way. They kind of lost that love and that joy of sharing their passions with the world. So I bet you're curious about group number three. <laughs> and well, so was I. See, this group was so inspired. Every time we'd get together, there was something new. There was incredible energy. We didn't feel nervous. We didn't feel like we were taking unnecessary risks. We felt safe in this community of support together. So I was curious what was gonna happen. And what happened was incredible. Because when you have a community of support around you, you can weather such bigger storms. Seriously, think of it this way. If you're a single tree on the edge of a cliff and a big windstorm comes down, it's gonna knock your tree over. But if on the other hand, instead of a single tree, you're a forest, that big windstorm is weathered by so many more. You're able to be so much more resilient. So yeah. Okay. So the third group had incredible successes. They were leaders, community leaders, visionary leaders. They were CEOs. They were really changing the world. They were the new generation of experts. They are the ones who are truly actively shaping our future. And I truly think that it's because of the community community around them that they were able to achieve that. The moral of the story is that you, as a business owner, you are who you are surrounded by. Whether you hang out with the people who you grew up with or you're actively seeking to find the right people who are going to inspire you, who are going to be there to support you when you're dealing with something difficult, when you're facing an obstacle, when you're looking to grow but you're just hitting some kind of resistance and you just need that one hand up. Having that community is the difference between working in your business by yourself and growing and leading a movement. So in today's video, we're going to talk about this in the context of how entrepreneurship works. We're going to talk about the power of your entrepreneurial community. And we're going to talk about my favorite small business community online. You want to know more? See you after the intro. I love hanging out with entrepreneurs because they are inspired people. They are curious visionaries, so they see a better future 
but they also take action on bringing those solutions to the world. In the visibility hacking world, we talk constantly and say, if you had the cure for cancer, but you didn't share it with anyone, would it matter? I say no, it wouldn't. Entrepreneurs are what happens when you take visionary leaders and you give them the ability to solve those problems. The reality is not everyone has an entrepreneurial brain and not everyone is willing to put in the hard work that's required. <laughs> Entrepreneurs know that there's no such thing as an easy way to do anything. Learning from our mistakes, learning from our obstacles is where we can truly start to grow the most. And when we ignite that, when we take that to the next level, when we start to learn from the troubles and mistakes of our community members, we can then 10x how much we can learn from those mistakes without ever having to experience the mistakes for ourselves. Brings us to our question of the day. Are you part of a small business community? Are you part of any sort of community that helps support your business? If so, let us know down in the comments. Shout out a great group. We'd love to get to know them. One great place to look for a community that supports your business is to look in your local backyard. Your your local community. Maybe your chamber of commerce or your local city or town hall will host a small business group. I highly recommend joining these. Your BIAs or your business improvement areas might also host these types of groups. This is where you'll be able to find people in your neighborhood who will be able to help support you. Maybe you'll find complementary businesses that you can work collaboratively with. Maybe you'll find great professionals who can help take tasks off your shoulders, like maybe a bookkeeper, an accountant, maybe a great lawyer. Heck, you might even find great reception staff and great virtual assistants as well through these groups. Seek out other entrepreneurs and other business owners in your local community. I know I talk about building communities online, but if you don't have that, that backbone of a community around you, that will really ignite your energy so that you can bring that to your audience. If you don't feel like your business is doing well, then you're not going to portray that to your audience either. Build yourself a community of, of people around you, people local to you. Start there. But before you run away to do that, stay tuned. I got more to talk about. And while we're at it, hit the subscribe button and uh, let's keep talking. Now let's talk about your community one step deeper. Let's talk about building your community. Let's talk about building your community. I talk a lot about building your movement, finding your people, igniting their passion, serving them up solutions, and then creating that roadmap, that yellow brick road to your product services or solutions. And I talk about these movements because it's essential to creating that experience for your customers. So I say, if you want to start building a community that matters, focus on building a community of your ideal customers. Start with a live show, I always say, because you can start sharing your message. You can start asking the questions that are on your mind. You can share the new things that you learn, the new tools that you learn. You can share those with your audience so that you, be, be, you become a trusted resource for them. And live shows can be a little bit intimidating, but don't worry. Join us for Live Academy. If you're interested in building that live show, consider this my invitation for you to join us in our Live Academy program, where by the end of the program, you will have launched your custom built live show designed specifically with your audience, your interests, and your movement in mind. Head over to visibilityhacking.com slash let's go live. You can check it out down there. I will see you in our next video. And until then, my friends, remember, as per usual, I love you. Be excellent to each other. And just go live, because your people are out there, and man, they are waiting for you.